As the time goes by, different innovation and technologies develop or improve through the years. For the past lessons, we have learned about the different forms of media, from media as a text, to media as an audio and visuals. Today, we are going to talk about the combination of all these categories, the latest form of media that is seen everywhere and every time, the multimedia. What is multimedia? It means that computer information can be represented through audio, video, and animation in addition to traditional media. It is the field concerned with the computer-controlled integration of text, graphics, drawings, still and moving images or video, animation, audio, and any other media where every type of information can be represented, stored, transmitted, and processed digitally. Multimedia has four unique characteristics. Number one, multimedia must be computer controlled. Second, multimedia are integrated. Third, the information they have must be represented digitally. Fourth, the interface of the final presentation of media is usually interactive. Just like what we have said earlier, multimedia is a combination of different integration. Now, let us look closely at the contents of multimedia. Image Digital image files appear in many multimedia applications. Digital photographs can display application content or can alternatively form part of a user interface. Video Digital video appears in many multimedia presentations, particularly on the web. As with audio, websites can stream digital video to increase the speed and availability of playback. Audio Audio files and streams play a major role in some multimedia systems. Audio files appear as part of application content and also to aid interaction. Text It may be an easy content type to forget when considering multimedia systems. But text context is by far the most common media type in computing applications. Multimedia is becoming the biggest source of information of people. Here are the types of multimedia information that we can get. Number one, generation of information. Orchestrated multimedia, live multimedia. Number two, generation of information. Discrete media of time independent, continuous media or time independent. The information we get from multimedia also has its different format. Here are the format of multimedia information. Number one, image format. Number two, audio format. Number three, video format. We have seven advantages of multimedia information. Creativity, cost-effective, realistic approach, evaluation, trendy, variety, wide variety of support. But also we have seven disadvantages of social media information. Seven. Accessibility, disrupting, costly, fragile, require mastery, limited support or compatibility, and lastly time control. And also we have seven principles of multimedia information and media. Number one, multimedia principle. Number two, Integrity Principle Number 3, Modality Principle Number 4, Redundancy Principle Number 5, Coherence Principle Number 6, Personalization Principle Number 7, Practice Principle Here are the 5 elements of multimedia information and media. Number 1, Text Text is the basis for word processing programs and is still the fundamental information used in many multimedia programs. Number 2, Audio Sound the integration of audio sound in a multimedia application can provide the user with information not possible through any other method of communication. Number three, we have animation. It refers to moving graphics images. Number four, we have motion video. Such as the images portrayed in a television can add even more to a multimedia application. Number five, static graphic images. When you imagine graphics images, you probably think of still images such as those in a photograph or drawing. 
And that's our fifth element. Hey,